It's time to pray, y'all. It's time to talk to God. It's time to tell him I'm sorry. When was the last time you told God you're sorry? When was the last time your clerk talked to him? When was the last time your spirit said, Lord, I'm sorry. I want to live holy. I want to live upright. I want to walk upright before you. The actions that you take will directly impact what will and will not happen in your life. Looking at the condition of the world today, when is it time to pray? When God says he's tired of sin, when is it time to pray? When Jeremiah prophesied that there was a day that the Lord will come to destroy, is that when it's time to pray? When the Bible says, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Is that still a prophecy? Or is that happening right now? Huh? You got food to eat every day. Yes. If you're listening to this, you probably got Wi-Fi. And either a computer or a device or a phone. God is good. Yes, he is. You got so much stuff, you need a truck. Have you ever moved from one place to another? And you needed a truck Two trucks. to carry your stuff. You got you got a truckload of stuff. Man. You don't live under a viaduct. Yes, yes. But because you have an ailment in your body, because you're working at a job you don't like, because you have a failed marriage, or because your kid's acting a fool, you think it's okay to complain. Well, God has always hated complainers. Man. Have you ever been to the doctor and the doctor looked at you in the eye and said, sorry? There's nothing more we can do. That never happened to you. Would you pray then? I bet you wouldn't be one of those little cute get in, a hurry, get in the bed in a hurry type prayers, would it? No, 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 no. We complain and God sent snakes. We complain and God killed his own people. Stop complaining. Yep. Complaining is praise for the devil. Man, Replace the man. word you use with praise. Yeah. Praise God for an orange. I wanted a mango. But at least I got some vitamin C. Thank God, right. Thank God I got eyes to see. I don't have a pending surgery. I'm not in a body bag. Thank you, Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Let me pick the person that I think Thank you, Lord. Thank you should you trade Lord. places Thank with. You, There's a little girl right now Thank holding her dead brother in her arms mm. next to both of her dead parents. These are the last days. There's genocide going on in Africa right now. Yeah. Little girls are being kidnapped and the saints of God are somewhere complaining because they didn't get a promotion. We complain too much. Right. Complaining is power and praise for the devil. Yep. Have you ever begged for something to eat and then laid down because it's too hot and you're too exhausted because you didn't get anything to drink in the last two days? Have you ever walked past an apartmentless person? We got to stop calling them homeless person. Because these people do anything to spend one night in your humble abode. One night, one hour. If your pillow's too hard, you complain. Oh. Well, why don't you take that horrible pillow and give it to somebody? Have you ever walked past an apartmentless person and said, that would be me, but God had mercy on me. Thank you, Jesus. Ever hear somebody say, this food nasty. Oh, you got food. <laughs> Would you like to trade places with somebody that I pick? I'll pick the perfect person for you. Ever hear somebody sit down in a restaurant, look at the menu and say, starving. <laughs> Would you like to trade places with somebody that's actually starving? You ate this week, so shut up. You drank something yesterday, so shut your mouth. There's a pending food shortage coming. Remember I said it. When is it time to pray? There are wars now. And rumors of wars now. When is it time to talk to God? The dollar store ain't even a dollar no more. Hyperinflation is in the Bible. Yep. The man killed his girlfriend, chopped her body up, put her in the barbecue grill so that he can get rid of the evidence. Yep. The only way they found him or the only way he got caught was because the neighbors complained about the smell that was coming from the barbecue grill. When is it time to pray, saints? God is coming back. Don't you hear his footsteps? What wickedness do you hear on the news that surprises you? None. The Bible says, but evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse. These are the last days that the Bible talks about. There's one copycat mass shooter after another. Do you really think there ain't somebody planning their next attack right now? You can't legislate away evil. 
Listen, the Antichrist is already born. He's already walking on the earth right now, somewhere. When is the time to pray? God is anxious to come back and get his people. Romans says, for we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now. All of nature is longing to see their creator. The trees are constantly reaching up into the sky, waving their branches in worship, asking God to come closer. Have you ever done that? Have you ever asked God to come closer? God, just come close to me. God, just come sit right here next to me. Does anybody feel like that? Does anybody want God to come closer to them? I know I'm supposed to seek God. It's my heart's desire to follow hard after him. But sometimes when I grow weak, sometimes when I get weary, I just want God to come closer. Come closer, God. Let me feel you. Every now and again, let me feel you. I know I don't deserve it, God. But I need you, Lord, to touch me, God. Sometimes, sometimes, every now and again, God, move on the inside of me so I know that you're still there. God, please, please, God, please repeat your promise. Let me hear you say that you'll never leave me, God. I need your comfort sometimes, God. I need your warm embrace, God. I need y'all to do it. Can y'all do that for me? Just say, God, come closer. Come closer. No, 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 no. Say it right. Say it right. Say, God, come closer. Come closer. Come closer. Animals are tired of chasing their food. You think they like that? They want their creator to come back and change this place back to its original nature. The Bible says, and the cow and the bear shall feed. The young one shall lie down. They're waiting on this. Together, the lion shall eat the straw like an ox. Animals can't wait for this to happen. They're tired of the sinful nature of this world that we created. We caused it and continue to cause it every day. They're tired of chasing and fighting for territory. And they, like all of nature, long to see their creator. What about you? Do you long to see him? Is that your heart's desire to be in his presence? Who, who are the voices under the altar? Who are these people praying and asking God to avenge them in Revelation? How long, O oh Lord, holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? Yes, there are saints, oh God, that are seeking God's face and not his hands. And we, 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 we want, we want God to take us home. We want God to take us home. I want to go to that place where the wicked shall cease from troubling. Yeah, yeah. I want to go to the place where the weary shall be at rest. I want to go to the place where there's no more dying, where there's no more lying. I'm tired of crying. I want to go to a place. There is a place where there's no more funerals, yes. no more heartache, no more pain, no more trouble, no more trauma, no more tribulation, yes. no more desperation, yes. no more despair. I want to go to that place. Dear Jesus, make me ready. Yes. Reach deep down in my soul, God. Take out all the stuff that's not like you. Do it for my family, God. Do it for him. You got my permission, God. Do it for my family, God. Change us, Lord. Rearrange us, God. Make us better, Jesus. Whatever it costs, Lord. Whatever the pain, Jesus. Prepare me for your return. Do whatever you have to do, God. Just don't leave me here. Take me back with you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Take us back, Lord. Take us back with you, Lord. Whatever you have to do, Lord. Whatever it costs, Jesus. Whatever I have to strip. Do it, God. Do it, God. How come the saints don't pray like that no more? Hmm? How come the saints not praying? If the Bible says, confess your faults one to another and pray for one another, that you may be healed, the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous man availeth much. If the Bible says that, why is prayer the least attended service in most churches? People show up after prayer. Maybe we should just move prayer to the middle of service. Maybe we should just move service. What about that? And just come to church and just talk to God. He wants to hear your voice. He wants to hear you call him. Mm. How come you start yawning as soon as you get down on your knees to pray? Mm. Mm. Why is prayer such a short time in church? We preach for two hours. Right? We collect offering for an hour. We pray for 20 minutes. What will it take? What kind of calamity will God have to bring? What level of trauma do you have to go through? What level of trauma do you have to endure to pray? What's in your blood? DNA, all my questions don't require an answer. What's DNA? Your soul, okay? The God that we serve, this God that we serve, he hears blood. Remember when Cain murdered Abel? He said, what hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood, not your voice. The voice of your brother's blood crieth out unto me from the ground. Abel is dead. But his blood is still talking to God. Your voice 
when you're in prayer shouldn't be your mouth. God isn't impressed with your ability, your, your, your ability to formulate words. God, you think your articulation can dazzle God? Your voice in prayer shouldn't be in your mouth. Your voice in prayer should be in your blood. Let your spirit talk to spirit. Declare out of your soul, I'm going to have a bond with God. Say it. Say it to yourself. Don't say it now. Say it to yourself. I'm going to have a bond with God. I'm going to have a connection with him. Let your spirit talk to spirit. Declare out of your soul, I'm going to talk to him daily. I'm going to talk to him nightly. I'm going to talk to him newly. Before you're in trouble. Before your day of calamity. God don't want you to call him only when you want something. Before you get sick. Before you get in a car accident. Let your soul do what it craves. Oh, my soul. Talk to God. Talk to God when I'm sleeping. Talk to God when I'm walking down the street. God can hear Abel's blood. Can Abel, can Abel's blood hear God? Can your soul hear God? While you can hear him, talk to him. Are you praying long enough to hear him? God doesn't want to talk to your flesh. It takes time to break this flesh down. It takes time to move your flesh out of the way so your soul can talk to God. This is going to take some dedication. You're going to have to set some time aside for this. All of the stuff we do all throughout the day, all of the stuff we see, all of the stuff we hear, all of the stuff we put inside of our body, all these fleshly pleasures, they block you from hearing God. But if you took some time out, Push the plate back and said to your soul, I'm going to get to the throne room. I'm going to get into the presence of God. I'm going to spend some time with him. I'm going to show you how critical prayer is. I don't care what you name your church. God said, it better be some prayer going on in there. In Isaiah, it says, even then when I bring to my holy mountain and make them joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and their sacrifices shall be accepted upon my altar for my house shall be called Apostolic Pentecostal Kojic on the first rock. No, it says house of prayer in Matthew, for you New Testament only folk. It says, and said unto them, it is written, my house, whose house? God's house, shall be called 15th Baptist Church on the mountain. No, house of prayer. God wants his house to be known as a house of prayer. Tell your pastor, get his name off the church. Tell the altar workers, get out the way. Let the people come to God. Everybody that come to your house, everybody that come to your house, everybody that come to your house better be able to say, man, that's a house of prayer. Everybody that come to your church better be saying, man, that's a house of prayer. They're praying in there, man. Your house, your abode. Can I walk into your house and say, man, somebody been praying up in here. Can I walk into your house and feel the residue of the Shekinah glory when God came to visit you? Is your house a house of prayer? Is your house a house of prayer? I wouldn't want somebody to come to my house and feel flesh and feel worldliness and demonic activity. I want people to come to my house and know that there's been some sacrifice going on in here. I want people to be able to say, God has visited these folks. The Bible says pray without ceasing. You know what pray without ceasing means? It means don't say amen. Say, Lord, I'll be right back. That means keep on talking to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Lord wants to know, is your house, is your church a house of prayer? There's a baby about to be aborted right now that don't know how to pray. When will we pray? There's a person right now with a needle in their arm. They don't want to do it no more. There's a saint that said this is the last day. Give it up. Who has family members that's not saved? Did you call their name out to God in prayer today? When? When is it time to pray? Why isn't there any effectual, fervent prayer going on in your church? Maybe it's because people are not getting their prayers answered, so they don't see the benefit of it. Okay? Maybe because there's something blocking your prayers. Yeah, yeah. John says, now we know that God heareth not sinners. Who knows that? He says, we know that. How, how do we know that? Do we know that? But if any man be a worshiper of God and doeth his will, him he heareth. Yeah? See how easy it is to get God to hear you? You see how easy it is to have God work miracles in your life? Do his will, become a worshiper. That's it. That's the God we serve. See how easy that is? All right, I'm listening. This is reason number one why your prayers aren't getting answered. 
Isaiah says, but your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear. Proverbs says, the Lord is far from the wicked, far from the wicked, but he heareth the prayer of who? The righteous. God is awesome. Somebody lied and said God hates the sin, but loves the sinner. The Bible says, the foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. That did not say God hates iniquity. God hates the workers of iniquity. Maybe that's why your prayers, prayers aren't being answered because maybe there's sin in the camp. And Somebody wrote a song called The Sinner's Prayer. Y'all ever heard that? God doesn't hear the prayers of a sinner. Why y'all mad at me? Don't mad at me. <laughs> I ain't write a single word in. That's why I put every scripture on this line so y'all can read it for yourself. Go check it. King James Version of the Bible. Read it. Psalm says the eyes of the Lord are upon the who? The righteous. And his ears are open unto their cry. Since God only hears the righteous, why not repent and start getting your prayers answered? What about that? Did anybody ever teach you how to get your prayers answered? Did anyone tell you that all you have to do is do those things that's pleasing in his sight? The Bible says that whatever we ask, we receive of him because we keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. Easy. Baruch says, oh, Israel, this is for you. Happy are we for things that are pleasing to God are made known to who? Ah, uh, the final reason that there isn't any effectual fervent prayer in your home or in your church, probably because you don't know how to pray. But I'm going to fix that today. I'm going to teach everybody how to pray. Four steps. I'm going to show you the proper way to pray. The disciples asked God how to pray. What a better person to ask. I'm going to use a shorter version today. There's two versions. I'm going to use Luke because it's only four scriptures. Same thing. And he said unto them, when you pray, say, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done as in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day by, give us day by day our daily bread and forgive us our sins. But we also forgive everyone that is in debt to us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. So, you start off with our Father. You start off talking to the Father, which means power or authority. You start off recognizing that Jesus has all power. Stay with me. Father isn't a separate person. There's only one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. There's only one God, and he died on a tree for you to have a connection with him. Our Father. God is hiding behind a veil called Jesus. That's why the Bible says God was in Christ. That flesh that you see on the cross, that's a veil hiding God. Okay? Sort of like the veil my wife had while I couldn't see her. She had it on back. Who is the Savior? Who's your Savior? God? God? Who's the Savior? God the Savior? Jesus the Savior? I'm proof God the Savior. Verily thou art a God that hidest thyself. O oh God of Israel, who's the God of? The Savior. Why would God hide himself? God is powerful, too powerful to be understood. He has to be revealed. The Bible says, by a new and living way, which he has consecrated for us, through the veil, that is to say, his flesh. See that? God's flesh is a veil. Okay? It's not two separate people. That's just a veil or a flesh veil, something that he put on to hide himself. That's it. It's extremely important to know who you're praying to. When you say our father, that's not a second person. That's Yahshua. That's Yahweh. That's Elohim. That's Adonai. That's the everlasting father. That's the prince of peace. That's the great eternal wonder. That's the holy counselor. That's the I am that I am. That's Jesus in English. Why y'all not excited when you hear these names? When you hear God's name, when you pray, I want you to think about who you're talking to. Because you're not talking to Mary's little baby. Okay? You're talking to a lion. You're talking to a non-consuming fire. You're talking to a comforter, a habit breaker, a raging sea calmer. Do you know this mighty God named Jesus? That's why the Bible says whatever you ask the Father in my name. God is answering prayers of the people that know who's behind the veil. What was the first thing Jesus did when he died? And behold, the veil of the temple was rent in twain in two from the top 
to the bottom. The first thing Jesus did after he died was rip the veil from the top to the bottom. When his flesh was broken, the veil was broken. It's the same thing. Jesus is God, mm -hmm. right? It's here then that Jesus is saying, look at me. It was God all along. Now worship me. Why does worship make people feel uncomfortable? Wait. Why does worship make saints uncomfortable? Because that's what we were born to do. That's God's desire. That's what God is seeking for in these last days. Will he return and find anybody worshiping him? When was the last time you got lost in worship? Just got lost in worship. Don't even know what time it is. Don't know how you got on the floor. Don't know how you got home. When was the last time you laid prostate before God? Will you ever put that stupid phone down? How can you ever get far enough in the spirit when your mind is clouded with all these worldly images? Is there ever going to be a day when you just want to spend time with God? Mm -hmm. All right, the next clause this is verse two, I think. The next clause says, hallowed be thy name. Did you catch that? Next comes worship. John says, God is a spirit. That's what I said, it's a spirit. Talk to spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. You can worship Jesus when you know the truth. When you know he's God, you can worship him. When you get his spirit, you can worship him. How do you get his spirit? Turn away from sin. God is so holy that his name is holy. The name that he gave his veil is holy. And his name is sweet. Jesus. Sweet. Something nice about him. Somebody just listen, listen, whisper. Everybody with me. Isn't that nice? Don't that sound sweet? Jesus, you're mighty. Jesus, you're righteous. Jesus, you're perfect. Jesus, you're magnificent. Jesus, you're holy. Jesus, you're worthy. Hallelujah. Next part of verse 2. It says, Thy kingdom come and your will be done. Whose will? Whose will? God's will. See, this part requires you to be humble. Do you want what God wants? Everything I need comes from God. Mm. That's why, that's why God, I say you are all I need. You're all I want. You're my heart's desire, God. Any way you bless me, Lord. Anything you do for me, God, I won't complain. I'm not going to complain. Anything you want me to do, God. If nobody else will go, God, I'll go. Send me, Jesus. I'll obey. And I won't get lifted up in pride, God. And think that I'm doing it on my own. I'll give you glory, God. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. The same way things are set up in heaven, God. Set it up in me, God. Set it up in my life, God. Thy will be done, God. I want what you want, Jesus. I don't care if my family walk off and leave me, God. I want to please you, Jesus. I don't care if I have to be all alone living under a vine, God. Whatever your will is, God, that's what's best for me. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. My life is yours, God. The last verse, verse 4, last one. Verse 4 is the hardest part. Verse 4 says, forgive us. Oh, God, help me, Jesus. What does forgiveness mean? Forgiveness means send away, let go, permit to depart, suffer properly, release, discharge. To be hurt, that you cause hurt. I realize I hurt God every time I sin. But I'm thirsty and I want freedom from my flesh. I'm sorry, God. Help me, Jesus. I won't do it no more. I don't have any excuses, God. I messed up. I admit I made those mistakes. I admit I made those mistakes. Come on, y'all talk to him. Come on, talk, just like this. Close your eyes, talk to him. I don't, I, I don't want to disobey you anymore, God. I didn't obey your word, God, and I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, God. Come on, y'all. Come on. Talk. Let your spirit talk to God. Let your spirit say, I'm sorry. Let your spirit say, but I need you to forgive me, God. I need you to let me slide, God. God, I need you to pardon me, Lord. I need you to forget about what I did, God. I need you to give me one more chance, God. I'll get it right this time, Jesus. I promise. Give me another chance, God. Give me another chance. I won't bother you anymore. I have no one to blame but myself, God. These sins I committed, I did it on my own. But I'm tired now, God. I've grown weary and I need your help, God. It's time to pray, y'all. It's time to pray. We need you, Jesus. We need you, Jesus. We need you, Jesus. We need your help, Lord. God, send help, Lord. Send help from all high, God. Send help, Jesus. The help that I need to live holy, God. Send power. Send power, God. The power that I need to fight temptation, Lord. Send your word, Lord. Your word that will cleanse me, God. I'll obey Jesus. Send your spirit, God, to lead me and guide me, God. I want to be like you, Jesus. 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 I want to
be just like you, God. I want to be where you are, Lord. I don't want to talk to you in my mouth, God. I want my soul to talk to you, Jesus. Hear my spirit, oh God. Hallelujah. You might be a mess. You might be a mess. But God still wants to talk to you. You might have made some major, major, major horrible mistakes. But God still wants to hear your blood voice. Your blood voice. You may be the worst person in the world. But God still desires a relationship with you. It's time to pray, y'all. It's time to talk to God. It's time to tell him I'm sorry. When was the last time you told God you're sorry? When was the last time your blood talked to him? When was the last time your spirit said, Lord, I'm sorry. I want to live holy. I want to live upright. I want to walk upright before you. How can you be so peaceful when your soul is in trouble? What is your plan of salvation since you don't want God's plan of salvation? His plan of salvation requires a conversation. When will you talk to him about the stuff he's done? Why is it so hard to tell him you're sorry? Why is it so difficult? Close your eyes. Talk to God. Tell him I'm sorry! Hallelujah. I know I messed up, God. I'll do whatever it takes, Lord. Whatever I have to do, God, to show you that I'm sorry, God. To show you that I will never sin again, God. To show you, Lord Jesus, that I want to make you happy. I want to do the right thing, God. Oh, God, send your spirit, Lord. Send power, God. Power that I need to destroy every yoke, God. Send power, God. Oh, God, break up this heart and destroy your heart, Lord. So that I can be like you, Jesus. So that I can go back with you when you come back, God. God, get this stuff out of me, Lord. The stuff, Lord. The stuff in me that keeps making me mess up over and over again, God. These ungodly desires that I have, God. These proclivities that I have, God. Take them out, God. Separate me from it, Lord. Move me from it, God. Push it away, God. So I'll be like you, Jesus. you that he loves you. Maybe he wanted to tell you that he'll never leave you and never forsake you. Don't do that no more. Wake up and seek for him first. Reach for him first. Thank you, Jesus. Don't go to bed tonight without talking to him, please. Talk to him. That's your God. Talk to him. Hallelujah. He has thoughts of peace for you. He's not trying to destroy you. He knows what you did. He saw it every time you did. He knows what you'll do. But he still has mercy on you. And he's offering you his grace. He's just giving it to you. Say, come on. I want to spend some time with you. I want to hang out with you. This is easy. All you got to do is talk to him. I just showed you how. You don't need any special words. Talk to him like you talk to your friends. 
Let's just put the phone away for a little bit. Turn off Instagram for a minute. Go off of TikTok just for a minute. And talk to God. Just for a minute. What do you look at? What do you look at? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your holy name, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Lord.